the storm of gaming be with you. Ignition. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube and Grand Star Legion? Stormstriker SX9 here with part 7 of my Fallout 3 Let's Play for Storm Singularity part of Summertime Splash and RPG game series. Next up, we're going to be going into Volt 101. We got to listen to the radio broadcast first, and then we're going to see how they're doing. And then after that, we're going to continue. Yes, we're going to continue the Broken Steel DLC. So yeah, let's get going, shall we? And with me, I have Star Paladin Cross once again, my faithful companion in full power armor. And whatever weapon she has on her is good. I believe she has a tri-beam laser rifle. All right, let's listen to the Volt 101 emergency frequency. This is an automated distress message from Vault Tech. Vault 101. Message begins. It feels like you left home a long time ago, but I know you're still out there. I just hope you're still alive to hear this. Things got worse after you left. My father's gone mad with power. If you can hear this, please stop looking for your dad and help stop mine. I changed the door password to my name. If you're hearing this, and if you still care enough to help me, you should remember it. Message repeats. This is an automated distress message from Vault Tech. Vault All right. So that was Amada on the radio. Let's go in and see what they're doing. And you're coming with me. Star Paladin Cross is coming with me. Your weapon handy. So we're back in Bolt 101. We got some rad roaches over here. Stop right there. I don't know how you got in here, but hold on. Wait a minute. It's you. I hardly recognized you with all the dust and grime from out there. Guess that explains how you got that door open. You've got more experience with it than most everyone down here combined. I need to talk to Amada. I got her message. Amada's message? I don't know what you're talking about, but I'd keep that under your hat for her sake. She could get in real trouble if people found out she sent you a message. So could I, just for talking with you now. What sort of trouble do you mean? Let me bring you up to speed. It seems like it's been a mighty long time. The night you and your dad left, everything went crazy. Between the bugs and the confusion, we lost a lot of people. 
When your dad opened up that gate, he let loose a whole lot of crap, if you'll pardon my language. Dad would be horrified to know all that. If he were still alive, that was never supposed to happen. That was the overseer's fault. Yeah, Dad screwed up all of our lives that day, didn't he? Really? Well, that would explain a few things, all right. It's a good thing you're here after all. After that night, a lot of your friends started thinking, if it's safe to go outside, why stay down here forever? And that's not the sort of thing the Overseer likes to hear. Things have gotten pretty tense. So, what now? I probably ought to put you under arrest and take you into the Overseer, but frankly, I know better than to try that. Meanwhile, some of your old friends think opening the vault is a good idea. I bet those rebels would like a word with you. Now more than ever. Of course, if you want, you can just walk away as if you were never here. Out of respect for your dad, I won't even tell anyone I saw you. Can you lead me somewhere? I guess you've had a lot on your mind since you were here last. Where do you want to go? I need to see Amada. Lead me to her. Okay. Follow me. Yes. What do you require? I shall reflect on the battles past and the battles to come until your return. Wait here, Star Paladin Cross. I'll come back. I don't want any unnecessary shooting from her. Wait here. This doesn't look good. You know I can't do that, Freddy. Now get back down below before I have to do something we'll both regret. What? You're gonna lock me up like you did to Brotch? You can't cage a tunnel snake, man, because we rule. Stay back! Taylor, stop shooting, damn it! Don't you know enough to stay away? You almost shot Freddy. I didn't mean to fire. I really didn't. I just wanted to scare him off. But he had a knife. I can't be too careful with those rebels. Tell me about the rebels. I tell you, I'm scared of them. I never know when they're going to try something dangerous. What happened down here? I lost my poor wife Agnes is what happened. And all the chaos and fighting, her old ticker just couldn't take it anymore. I have to go now. Yes, you do. I guess you can see how bad things are down here. Sorry, where were we going? Could you escort me to Amada? I need to talk to her about all this. As chance would have it, she was one of the first people to talk about life outside the vault after you left. No surprise. She always did like you. I hope you can talk some sense into her. Or maybe the two of you can come up with some other plan. Just be careful about it. Follow Officer Gomez. Star Paladin Cross is staying. Near the entrance, I don't want her to start shooting at people. She will shoot people on sight. Ooh. She is a Brotherhood of Steel, after all. Make it quick. We're already headed there. Just stay quiet and follow me.
the way I'm walking and pacing behind him trying to stay. Amada's up there, in the clinic, with the rest of them. I'd take you closer, but they don't get along with security. Good luck. Damn. Look who's come waltzing back into the vault. It takes some real balls coming back here after everything you and your dad screwed up. But if you've got to be back, might as well make yourself useful. You gotta help us. Help? What kind of help? What makes you think I came back to help you? What sort of help do you think I mean? You must have heard about the changes since you left, right? The deaths, the lies, the whole overseer lockdown thing? Ringing any bells? Man, they'd have rushed in here long ago if they didn't know I stole one of their guns from when they issued martial law. Anyway, you gotta help us get out of here. You gotta help me get out of here. Don't worry. I'm trying to help the entire vault. Man, screw the entire vault. What about me? Even these rebels just want the option to go outside for lousy trading and stuff. I just want to get the hell out of here for good. Why stay here and be stuck as a barber for my entire life when I could go out there and make my own choices? But what do you do in the vault? The damned goat said I'm supposed to be a hairdresser, but that ain't me. I'm a barber, you got that? There's a difference. Can you give me... No, don't give me a haircut. What do you think you're going to do outside, Butch? I'll start a gang, of course. Why, it'll be the toughest, coolest, badassest gang the Wasteland's ever seen. Hey, play your cards right, maybe I'll even let you join it, huh? Hey, I'm already in the tunnel, Snakes. You gave me the jacket and everything. Yeah, but I'm thinking it'll be a new gang. We ain't gonna just be in tunnels, you know. Besides, there's gonna be a lot more people who want to join. Competition's gonna be tough. Why should I help you, Butch? Because you've always been a goody two-shoes. So when I need help, it's what you're gonna do, right? You're gonna help Amada anyway, right? Just make it so we can leave the vault, and I'll leave and never bother you again. What happened that night? I heard old Stanley complaining a lot of the stuff down in the reactor got fried pretty bad. Uh, nothing too bad, yet. But he's always worrying we'll lose air filtration or whatever. Of course, if that happened, guess we'd all have to leave the vault then, huh? I'll be going now. Catch you later. Maybe. Good to see you. Amada, where are you? Old Lady Palmer. Oh, it's good to see you're back from outside. It can be dangerous out there for someone your age. Tell me about the rebels. Oh dear, we aren't asking for anything special. The vault's been open before, but for some reason everyone tries to pretend it wasn't. I guess they try to forget the poor souls who never came back from out there. What happened down here? My poor grandson Jonas died is what happened. They say it was just an accident and all the confusion, but I know it was the overseer. I have to go now. Oh, please be careful. Morning. You're alive! Tell me about the rebels. I hate that this whole thing has turned us against our families. But we just can't keep living down here forever. I mean, look at this place. What happened down here? A lot of security got wounded, and worse. In all the confusion, we still don't know who's responsible for some of them. I have to go now. Bye. This is the room where, where we took the goat. Remember the goat? Mm -hmm, in the very beginning. Oh my god, you're back! You got my message and actually came back! I came as soon as I heard you were in tr you were in trouble. Oh, thank you! 
Everything's gone crazy since you left, and now that you're back, you can help set things straight. You saved my life back then, Amada. The least I could do is help out now. I just wish we could have saved more people. Jonas and, and the Hannons and so many others died that night. It was bad enough they died because my father was trying to keep the door closed. But then I found out it was all to protect a lie. I found out the vault wasn't always closed. They've lied to us about it for our entire lives. What? How did you find that out? After that night, I heard Wally's father say we should never have taken you or your dad into the vault. I found out the vault used to be open, but for some reason, they closed it off when we were babies and swore to hide that it had ever happened. But keeping that lie meant Jonas's death. And even though we know the truth, the Overseer still won't let us make our own decisions. Sounds like he's gone crazy with power and needs to be stopped. So why don't you just leave? It's not difficult, especially now. I hear some of you have been helping, hoping to go outside. That's pretty crazy too. Actually, this is my dad's fault for leaving. He started all this mess. Hmm. You're absolutely right. It's not like we want to abandon the vault or anything. Well, Butch does, but he's too big a coward to go out on his own. Most of us had accepted that the outside was certain death, and things would always stay the same down here. But now we know they don't have to be. After all, it was enough to get you and your dad to leave, so there must be something good out there. You know, the wasteland has made me happier than I ever was in the vault. Why is the Overseer doing this? I just don't know. Maybe he thinks he's protecting us, but all he's really doing is condemning us. I thought parents were supposed to want a better world for their children. Well, there's a new world waiting right outside that door. And we're not going to give up until we can reach it. You know, the wasteland has made me happier than I ever was in the vault. <laughs> I repeated myself. What exactly do you mean by that? You should... Come with me. The Wasteland could teach you how to help everyone. It's tempting, but my place is here. The Vault needs me more than you do. There is no reason to be afraid of dying out there. I can protect you. You know what? For Never mind. I'm not afraid of dying, but if I leave, others will try to follow. And I couldn't live with their deaths on my conscience. Nonsense! With your dad running the show, the others will stay put. I certainly hope so, but I just don't know. Amada, why would I lie to you? You know what? You're absolutely right. After all, it was enough to get you and your dad to leave, so there must be something good out there. But we don't even have that chance while my father's got the place locked down. Please, something has to be done. You know that better than anyone. You have successfully persuaded Amada into going outside with you. However, first you must obviously deal with her father peacefully. After you have done that, wait for Amada and Overseer have their discussion. You will notice how it's different from the usual. Wait some more and Amada should come talk to you. After which she is hired and this quest concludes. And also note that opening fire on Vault 101 citizens will make Amada hostile, even if you already recruited her. Yeah. I think I have a solution for the Vault's troubles. What happened that night? The real problems came after you two left. The injured had nobody to turn to since our doctor had run off and his assistant had died. Now, we've got to rely on that old Mr. Handy for most of our medical needs. And he hasn't exactly got the best bedside manner. Ever had an examination from someone with cold metal pincers? You don't want to. I think I have a solution for this vault for the vault's troubles. I certainly hope so. We can't keep going on like this. You need to understand the dangers outside and why you should No. Actually, I need to... You will? Thank goodness for that. No matter what I say, he just doesn't listen. He just spends all day up in his office. 
but you've actually been outside, so you can tell him what it's like with first-hand experience. Just please don't do anything rash or hurt him, all right? You know violence isn't my style, Amada. Don't worry. I should have remembered. I was just worried. I don't know. Maybe your time outside had changed you. Thanks. And good luck talking to him. Let me know when you change his mind. Wow, you're back. Tell me about the rebels. I wouldn't call us rebels. I mean, we don't agree with the Overseer, but we still love the Vault. We just want to try going outside, too. What happened down here? Mom and little Monica got caught in the fires. I tried to get them out. I really did. But it was just too hot. I know it wasn't your fault, but my dad doesn't think as highly of you. You wouldn't want to hear what he said he'd do to your dad, either. I have to go now. Yeah. See you. What's it to be, eh? Appendectomy? Tonsillectomy? Hysterectomy? So what's your take on this whole situation? Ah, uh, human problems for human half. I don't trouble myself with such petty affairs. My work is my life. And, as you can see, I've been quite busy. Andy, what happened? All this blood. Ah, yes, a rather unfortunate incident. In all the commotion, Miss Beatrice suffered a rather bad sprain in her left toe. The big one. Obviously, I had no choice but to amputate. The leg. Yeah, I'm sorry to say the operation was uh, not a uh, success. Wait, they made you a doctor? But of course. With your father's departure from the vault and Jonas's untimely demise, the overseer had to take swift action. <laughs> and so he named me the new vault medical practitioner. A marvelous decision, if I do say so myself. I am fully equipped, after all. If you're the doctor, can you heal me? Um, actually, uh, no. I'm afraid I've been, uh, what's the human term? Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, fired. I've been reassigned to cleaning detail. My first duty is, somewhat ironically, cleaning the clinic. Ah, oh, but surgery was fun while it lasted. I have to go now. Of course, of course, don't let me keep you. This is the same Andy that wrecked the cake in the beginning. And look what Andy did now. Hey, good to see you again. I can't believe they almost shot you. I tell you, those guards are getting nastier every day. One of these days is going to turn real ugly. But I'll be ready for it. Tell me about the rebels. The Overseer thinks he's in charge of us, just because it's his job? Well, nuts to that! We do what we want, and we want to open the vault! What happened down here? Paul got bit real bad by some of those rad roaches, but he thought he could tough it out. If we'd had a doctor to treat him, he might still be here. Have to go now. Yeah, see you. That's blocked off. Man, I sure wish we could blow this joint. There has to be a way to convince. Leave me alone. 
You're back again? Tell me about the rebels. They're a bunch of hellions, that's what they are. I'm at my wit's end about them. I really am. What happened down here? It's all kind of blurry for me. But I hear I owe you for saving me. But don't expect much. The whole thing was your dad's fault in the first place. I have to go now. Yes, you do. Try this again. There's a door here. Ha! They ain't going through that door. Wait, there's an upstairs? Hey, be more careful. Ah. You don't belong. Yeah? I need you to lead me somewhere. Where to? I think I'd like to have a talk with the overseer. Take me to him. I hope you know what you're doing. I don't think he's going to be happy to see you. Follow close to me and I'll escort you down to him. Trust me. This is going to be a peaceful talk. No guns. No foul. Okay, let me make sure we're ready for this. Oh, charisma. That's not good. Why is the charisma not negative? Well, don't drink that. Drop the holy water. That's bad stuff. Bad stuff. Don't ever drink that. All right, I'm going to save it here, just in case he goes hostile. It's a, just a precaution. There's a room where uh, they held Amada. Why don't you look where you're going? Make it quick. We're already headed there. I'm saying I'm gonna save it again because that was a good walk there. Okay. This could go so many different ways. Visitor, sir. He wanted to see you, and uh, well. Well, I see you've returned. Done with the dust and ruins of the wasteland, are you? Given up looking for daddy? Thought you could just slink back in like a teen missing curfew? 
Well, that's too bad. You have no future in this vault. You're tainted. Tainted? You're the crazy bastard who murdered Jonas. With your leadership, no one in this vault ha has much of a future. Lay off the evil banter. I'm just curious about your side of the, all this. Really? And here I had expected you to be full of bullets and bravado, but short on brains. Perhaps you've grown up since you left our vault. I regret the unfortunate events of that night, but I'm afraid that once your father left us, they were unavoidable. The sad truth is that his actions presented a real and direct threat to the future success of our vault. And so, regrettably, they had to be opposed. What do you mean by the vault's future success? Ah, you're paying attention. Good for you. These vaults were designed to be safe havens for humanity, you see. But more than that, they were designed to test and protect us. And none more so than our Vault 101. We are to be a pure and protected breed of humans, never tainted by the ravages of the war above. I think you've got a good point, but things still need to change down here. I'm trying to save my people. Possibly the only pure, safe humans left in the world. Don't destroy humanity's last chance just because you don't like the choices I've had to make to protect it. I believe I have the solution to the vault's problems. To fix what you started? Go ahead and humor me. I still owe you... F no... The rebels are right. You need to open the vault. Oh, do you? What makes you think you know how better to protect this vault? You simply don't have enough people to stay isolated down here forever. I admit, in the 200 years since the war, our numbers have dwindled a little. But we have enough genetic diversity for a few more generations. My god, you're right. We won't last another hundred years, whether or not we get supplies from the outside. We're the last bastion of pure humanity, and we're doomed. Humanity isn't about pure genetics. It's about never giving up hope, even now. The, the only mission your vault ever had was keeping its residents alive. <laughs> I wish I could share your optimism, but I suppose you have a point in your blathering way. My way won't save our vault's mission, but if I let them contact the outside world, I might be able to save its inhabitants. But I'm not the one to lead them in that. I'm stepping down as overseer. I'll tell Amata that I can think of no more appropriate leader than she. There's not much I could do to stop him. There we go. Let's follow the overseer. He is running to Amata. We did this without bloodshed, guys. Get out of the way. Follow the Overseer. You did it! Amata? Yes, I did. Everyone, listen closely. After a discussion with your friend, I've made an important decision. In my attempt to keep us all safe, I have been, perhaps, overzealous. Lives have been lost, but perhaps worse than that, lives have been stopped. And in my attempts to keep you safe, I have kept you from growing up. I know I have made these mistakes, and I would make them again if I had to do so. That is why I cannot remain your overseer. Father! 
another. Amata, I appoint you overseer in my place. You've proven you have what it takes to make hard choices for the good of the vaults. I'm just sorry I didn't understand that earlier. Consider it one of many mistakes I've made. Why won't you? Obviously, I don't know what's out there, but it can't hurt to take a look, right? Amata recruited! Just leave us alone! You've done enough damage! Hello? What is it? Let's talk about your tactics. Amata, no. Be well, I have Amata. Leave Vault 101 forever. Take Amada to Vault 108. Speak to Amada near Raven Rock. Speak to Amada in Paradise Falls. It's good to see you again. It's a shame you gotta go, but you'll do okay out there, I'm sure. It's a mod. I, I got a mod that basically made a mod a, a follower companion. Did you need something? Are you certain? Very well. I shall return to my duties at the Citadel should you require my aid once again. Yes, go back to the Citadel. At least go outside the gate. That's as much that should happen, anyways. Hail. Keep going. Did you need something? Alright. You're on point. I shall back you up. Come on. Here we go. Keep going. All right, we finally did it the right way and got Star Paladin Cross out. I left her in there in the first attempt. That's not a good thing. All right, now that we got Amada, let's go back to Megaton and get her some gear. Remember, we have an armory. I could have swore I think. Okay. I wish there were more people like you in the world. I want you to have this. I hope it helps keep you safe. Oh, great. I've got fans. Yep. To hear the thunder of his voice. They're Let thanking the me for saving the world. You know, the purified water and stuff. But once again, Lucy may as well be, I mean, Amada may as well be the Lucy of Volt 101 and Fallout 3. Then again, Lucy could be an old character from Fallout 1, the original Fallout game, that they brought back. All right, I think I'm gonna give her a shotgun.
Turn up there. Auto. What is it? I want to change your well, tactics. Well, okay. I suppose. I thought so too. Of course. Let's give her something better. Also, I don't know if she can wear power armor, but let's see what happens. I'm going to give her the shotgun. Only got 17 shotgun shells left. Gonna need more than that. All right, then. I will, uh, something better. I will give her the Enclave laser rifle. MF cell. There you go. And she's in power armor. Be careful. All right. I got a Mata in power armor. Hopefully that keeps her safe. No sorrows, no suffering. All right. Now that we're done with that. Speak to a Mata in Megaton. We are in Megaton. Okay. Vigilance is necessary in this location. Be on your guard, my friend. Yes. This world. Yay, your suffering. What is it? See, this is life outside Volt 101. <sighs> You're right. I should have never doubted you. It shall exist no longer. It shall be washed away in Adam's glow. Burned from you in the fire of his brilliance. So we basically got to take Amada to see the world. So when she sees the ruins of DC, she's going to go, oh my god. Go. Okay. Speak to a paladin gunny about giving Amada combat training. Yes. Flip. Yes. So we got to go back to the citadel. We got to give Amada combat training. He's going to become a brotherhood of steel. Star Paladin Cross will help us out. You honor us with your presence here. Did you need something? Do you think you could teach Amada some new combat skills? Mata has received basic combat training from Gunny. Amata's health has been increased by 25. Her general stats have been increased. His in 
general stats have been increased and she her general stats have been increased and she now can use energy weapons okay what is it Speak to Crazy Wolfgang about teaching Amada barter skills. Fight through Dunwich building to increase Amada's morale. Speak to Shrapnel about teaching Amada to tinker. Oh, this is going to be fun. Okay, we got to go talk to Paladin Tristan. Where is Paladin Tristan? Okay, he's in here. Hey. Need something, friend? Nice work back there. Let's hope the scribes can do something useful with the information you retrieved. Unfortunately, we don't have time to sit around and wait for the analysis. Based on what I've seen of you so far, there's an assignment I believe you're well suited for. I'm ready for more! What do you need? With the setbacks the Brotherhood has suffered, we find ourselves in a difficult position. All our available resources need to be positioned for the inevitable counterattack from the Enclave. At the same time, we believe we may have developed a tool to help our chances of victory. But with everyone needed to help defend against the Enclave, we have no one to send on a recovery mission. So, I'm going to have you travel to the Olney Power Works to secure some tech for us. Olney Power Works? What's there? Hopefully you'll be able to find a Tesla coil, an experimental device from before the war. Our scribes needed to complete a little surprise they've been preparing for the Enclave. Get there, get the coil, and get back as safely and quickly as possible. Any questions? Old Olney is a dangerous place. Is there anything I could have to help me? Check with Scribe Valencourt. She's been researching some of the Enclave technology we've recovered. From what I understand, she may have come up with something. I have to go now. I'll be waiting for that Tesla coil, if you can find one. Ooh. I'm going up. Hail. Hail. Okay. We gotta look at the map again. We gotta know where we're going. Local map. Go to the wasteland. Okay, we're going to the laboratory. Which way's the laboratory? Okay. I always have to look at the map because more than once, actually. Got to be sure, you. You know, you got to be sure. Make no mistake. Anticipate any setbacks? Last month's progress was. I'm still very, very busy. Is this important or can it wait? I hear you can help me with. Get into old Olney? Well, maybe. I mean, possibly. I think so, but I'm not certain. I don't know how much this will actually help. I mean, I'm not quite sure how effective it might be, since it hasn't really been field tested. 
but I think I've figured out a way to override the signals the Enclave is using to control their death claws. Here, take this. It's only a prototype, so please don't lose it. What exactly is this thing? It's a semi-standard transmitter, only I altered the frequency modulation and jacked up the output. Based on some experiments I ran here in the lab, it should override the signals the Enclave uses to control death claws. Don't worry, it's constantly broadcasting, so you don't need to do anything. Just don't lose it. And so far, I have no evidence of adverse effects of EM interference in humans. Animals, maybe, but not humans. Anyway, it doesn't have a huge broadcast range, but it should be enough. How does the Scrambler work? It overrides the Enclave signal, so as far as the Death Claw is concerned, you're in control. And remember, it works passively. As long as you have the Scrambler on your person, it'll do its job. Is there anything I need to be concerned about? No, I don't think so. As long as you're within range of the Enclave's transmitter, your signal should be the one the Death Claw follows. If you get too far away, well, I'm not sure what's going to happen. I think there might be some bad effects. Well, for the Death Claw, not you. Okay, that's it. All right then. There have been reports of an Enclave camp southeast of Old Olney, so I'd head there if you want to try it out. I hope the Scrambler ends up being useful. I'd hate to have spent all this time on it and get no results. Or bad results. That would be worse. I have to go now. Good luck, and please be careful. Welcome. Star Paladin Cross will keep us safe. I hope. I don't know if Amada is essential or not. I may have to find a mod that makes Amada essential. By the way, there's also a way to have Butch as a companion as well. The hairdresser. He doesn't like being called a hairdresser. He wants to be called a barber. Technically, it's the same thing, right? But not to a lot of people, it's not the same thing. There's a difference. Anyways, we got to go way up here. Oh boy. That's going to be a walk. Old only. We have a shortcut that we can get to. We don't have to walk all the way there. Super duper mark. Oh my goodness. What is this? Okay, we're gonna go there from Springville. But like I said, I'm gonna be editing this video. The parts where I had to attempt Bolt 101 more than once because I messed up the first time and then messed up the second time. First time we left Star Paladin Cross inside the vault and she's going to be locked in there forever. I had to reload and then the second time we were not there in front of them to have their conversation for Amada to be able to come out there with me. So, yeah, that those two parts are going to be edited out. So it's not going to be as long. This should already be edited out. After the editing, I don't know how long the video is going to be. Oh, I need to change weapons. That's right, I gave her my ammo. 
for that particular gun. We're going to go back to using the sniper rifle. Which I do have. Oh. Leave me alone. Raider. I told you Amada was an essential. She died. Okay. We need to be careful. We need to be careful. Amada is not essential. Oh my God. Amada died. All right. We're going to end it here for now. That was not good. We had to reload. Amana is dead. I, well, died the first time. We had to reload, and now she's back. It's like a character dying. You're going to have to revive them by reloading. I'm going to see if I can find a mod that makes Amada essential so she doesn't die. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed up to this point. If you did, don't forget to click the... Uh, like button comment below share with your friends add to favorites and click that subscribe button and also click the notification bell to know when i upload new videos so we went into vault 101 we dealed with that we made it so that vault 101 could stay open or tried to stay open anyways i think butch escaped vault 101 so he can go out in the world i don't know where we're gonna find him next and then we Managed to convince Omada to come out there with us. She's got a lot of training to do before she can actually become a fighting fit. So, anyways. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. There's more of this to come. And next up, we're going to be continuing on with the uh, Broken Steel content. Alright, see you guys next time. Saving the game.